to prep what I uh, have to do for the next day. It's pretty much how my day is gonna go. I'm gonna check on my emails and see if I need to respond to any emails, see if I need to uh, catch up on any work, and yeah, let's get the day started. I just finished up checking my emails and catching up on certain things, and I kinda you know, I have an idea of what I need to get done for today. Today should be a fairly light day. Um, I don't have a lot to get done, but I do have one thing that's going to take me a long time to get done. My day should go by fairly quickly and it should end pretty early. I do have to get some coding done. And that is a big aspect and big portion of my job because it helps save so much time because I use coding to automate certain things. So I use it to automate certain projects or certain tasks or certain processes that we have. And by being able to come up with a way to write code, to save those manual labor efforts that would have been spent, it, it, it eases up so much things because especially if there's reproducibility within your projects or within your like workflow processes, if you could write code, you, you're, going, you're going to be able to save so much time and you're going to be able to have more frequency of those projects coming in and you could get them done in a shorter amount of time as well because if you write code that's efficient and if you write code that's proper, you're going to be able to run that code and it should take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes depending on the task, obviously. Those couple of seconds and couple of minutes, it saves hundreds of thousands of hours. So... I really recommend if you are trying to become a data analyst, I recommend you learn how to use certain tools like Python. I would say this is a great career because, you know, I work from home, <laughs> I work remote, I work on my own schedule, basically, whatever projects I need to get done, it's on the, you know, on the premise of my own time for the most part. You know, there's going to be meetings here and there and stuff like that. If you are trying to become a data analyst, just try to hone in on your skills just take the time to learn the fundamentals 
and once you you're able to gauge and you're able to properly understand and contextualize and visualize those certain topics like just the basic things that's going to give you the the steps needed to move on to more complicated topics i'm going to get changed i'm gonna take a shower and stuff and just get my day ready So I pretty much just uh, finished up with the coding portion of my day. I spent a few hours trying to figure out how to get those certain things done. What you need to understand first is what you are trying to get and what output you are trying to get. I have another meeting for today. Uh, I am hosting. Uh, I am hosting and leading a meeting for my team and teammates. So uh, ironically enough, I am teaching a class about Python and its fundamentals. So I'm going to be going over just like the basic principles and the syntaxes, and then, you know, just certain, certain rules on Python as well. I want other people on my team to be able to write their own code or think about, you know, things that they could do in their spare time that they could uh, try to either automate or try to figure out. I'm not an expert in Python or anything like that. Like, I honestly don't think I'm good at all at Python. Like, I don't remember syntaxes at all very well. Like, I have to do a lot of Googling most of the times. Or I would just uh, create my own reference sheet of certain functions and certain things that I've used in the past. And then I'll just reference that for, for uh, later projects that I need to code with. I'm going to... Uh, jump into my meeting in a little bit and i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna teach i'm gonna teach i'm gonna host that class and i'm gonna teach you know certain things in python hey everyone how's it going uh hopefully everyone is doing great um yeah so i'm going to be hosting uh today's automation uh meeting so if you have any questions please feel free to stop me at any moment during the meeting another important topic that i want to discuss is regarding to list and lists are very powerful flexible and versatile because you can do so many things with a list and you can use lists to store uh, data and elements inside inside of it just know that a list is mutable so it is changeable I also was discussing about uh, indexing and slicing earlier and Indexing and slicing is, again, another very important feature to a list. The common differences between a list and a tuple, again, is that mutability factor. A list is mutable, but a tuple is immutable. So just depending on the task that you have in hand, or just depending on the data that you have, or the, the things that you want to get done, um, if, if you're not completely sure of whether you should use a list or whether you should use a tuple, Think to yourself, am I going to be changing any aspect of this list at any point? Yeah, so that was the, uh, I know we're a little bit over time, but if anyone has any questions, please feel free to, to ping me. Uh, we can set up another call, you know, discussing in some more details about certain topics. Thank you for, for letting me host this today. Um, hopefully, hopefully this was pretty simple enough and hopefully you guys were able to follow along. I hope everyone has a great day and uh, I look forward to doing this again. All right, thanks everyone. Yes, sir.
this. Like I love stuff like this. So this is a great pickle for me. Gazelle indoors. Got this in a mill a little while ago. So this is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Um, haven't unboxed it yet, so I, I've been trying to unbox it on camera and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm really excited and, and I'm hyped because uh, I feel like using this, this new camera, I feel like it's a lot more versatile and I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to, to use more creative compositions because this, this camera is so small. You could literally like set it up anywhere and you could just like place it anywhere and it has its own like, it, it has its own like tripod built in I think and then, and then it's also, it also has like its own gimbal and things like that. So it'll stabilize the footage like really, really clean like without any shakiness or anything. So I'm really excited to, to start using this. So let's open this up. So I'm pretty much done for the day. Uh, I have finished up most of my coding. I figured out, for the most part, how to, uh, how to solve those certain things that I needed to solve for my code. And uh, I finished all my meetings earlier today. Uh, I, did, I did that Python lesson, so I'm pretty much good. The thing about having a remote job or working from home is that most of the time, you are going to live a sedentary lifestyle. So if you're not being proactive, if you're not being mindful, then you know you could have problems later on because you're not moving your body enough. Because most of the times, if you are working a remote job, you're gonna be on, on the computer most of the times, or you're gonna be sitting down a lot. So you're gonna have to compensate that with being active in, in, whatever, in whatever thing that you decide to do, whether it's you go to the gym, or you decide to take a walk, or if you play sports, you have to be able to move your body. I'm about to head to the gym, get a quick workout in. Uh, I usually take about like an hour and I only do weight training. Uh, I'm not doing cardio right now just because I'm trying to get stronger. So I'll do cardio later down the line, maybe in a few months from now, I'll get back to it. But yeah, let's go to the gym. Lights out, I'm your favorite Too many ways, been in your place There's delays Add it up, plus signs, zeros on the table Driving and vibing, bring the beat later Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of Flavor showing up to my space, I'm a fashion dealer I'm your biggest bidder, meet me in the middle I just don't wanna settle Under these lucid dreams I'm not just a visionary It's all making sense Basic ain't no ordinary Stay blue, we gon' get higher You're the product, I could be your buyer Under these lucid dreams I'm not thinking off my head, yeah Just being honest What's the big difference, yeah And I've been feeling My own inner shot Just being honest there's no difference I'm all just okay I don't want to just feel what Under these lucid dreams I'm not just a visionary It's all making sense to me Not a basic, ain't no ordinary Stay blue, we gon' get higher You're the product, I could be your buyer Under these lucid dreams I'm not thinking of 
be honest, baby, we got different phases Give it all, take it all I'm just feeling lazy, just be honest, baby We got different phases, give it all, take it all Malibu gasa hanjane Jong mashinen blue lemonade Surum pido of so the good nagi jane God, we just thank you for tonight. We give it all to you tonight. We thank you that your spirit is here and it's moving. We thank you for those who need peace, you're giving them peace. Those who need hope, you're giving them hope. Those who need life, you're giving them life. And God, tonight, we choose to be vulnerable with you. Remove what you need to remove. Bring what you need to bring. Give what you need to give. But let your presence fill this place. Everybody says, amen. Amen.